this match is the Singaporean men's and women's singles players went way, way ahead of the English equivalents. So if England don't win this opening match, you would seriously fear for their chances of getting the bronze. If they do, ladies and gentlemen, game on. on my right, Singapore, represented by Terry Hi Yong Kai and Jessica Tan Wei Han. And on my left, England, represented by Van Lee and Lauren Smith. England to serve, Lauren Smith to Terry Hee Yong Kai. Love all, play. Well, the one thing in Wayne and Smith's favour, they certainly have the crowd on their side. Feed off the emotion of this crowd, One especially block. if they make a positive start. Well, there's a sort of expectation as well on the Singaporeans, having won so convincingly in straight games against uh, Alison Smith four days ago. So they'll be hoping to do the same, but it's a different look that might prove uh, troubling. Over. One oh, force there is of the enemy this morning, as far as Lane and Smith are concerned. They have to make oh. he and Tam work for every point. Oh. Two, one. And of course, Ben Lane alongside Sean Vendy, who's not playing this match because of possible illness. We're not entirely sure, but uh, they were the winners in men's doubles to uh, snatch the only match victory in the 1-4 loss to Singapore four days ago. He's a wily character, Terry He isn't he? He's an excellent judge. You don't see him lead Three, much one. that lands on the line. He's been a pro for eight years. Actually won a mixed team bronze in the Commonwealth Games back in 2014. His first year as a professional that was in Glasgow. I've got to say, we've only played five points, but they look to be pretty coordinated at the moment, Lane and Smith. Rotating well around each other, this is good. And a lovely bark of approval from Lauren there, she liked that. But everybody just uh, sort of bewildered, really, by the fact that she's not playing with Marcus. When you think they're ranked 10 in the world, so yeah. So established. Well played, Lauren Smith. Yeah, her front court game has really three, evolved over the last two, three years or so. Winning the net battle here nicely, Lauren. That was good. Generating confidence along the way. And they will need to be confident today because the Singaporeans rank 36th in the world currently, but have been the top 15 pair back in April 2017, of course. He and Tan in your picture. He is particularly strong off the back end win. Four, all. That's a lovely piece of deception. It really was. Five, four. And anything this home crowd can latch onto, they will. That's just the sort of point that's going to give the English pair a massive amount of confidence. Service so over. Five, all. Pretty even, Stephen, so far, isn't it? With the both pairs getting. A trio of consecutive points so far.
super point that was swaying this way and that. Meandering all over the place, the momentum in that one, but Ben Lane having his way in the end, that was a terrific point. English delight. Having to work extremely hard here, showing great character, both pairs. Terry he keen Seven, to get in first, five. set the tone, but just spilling over the back line. Now this will feel settling and soothing to the English. Two-point lead. Not the first time that he's intercepted Seven, very effectively. Seven. Terry He. It's a great reader of the sport. He know he seems to have a Second sense, he knows where to position himself, and he cut that off and easily steered it into the unguarded part of the court. As I say, he's a danger man off the backhand. He really is standout, Seven, very strong. Four. Gets a lot of pop and zing off that wing. It's very difficult when you're playing with a fresh partner to sort of settle psychologically because you've just not got that experience. It's all new. Well, they don't know what they like, what they don't like. I mean, there's a chemistry that kind of evolved, so to come in pretty much from scratch, it's such a big ask. Service over. Nine, eight. I mean, he and Tam won their first title in 2014. That's, that's how far they go back as a player. Mm. Gillian, uh, Nathan Robertson. Play. Part of the uh, coaching setup. Yeah. Just a little hesitant from Lauren Smith there. Ten, eight. Good pressure from the Singaporean pair. And they have a three-point lead as they go to the chair for the mid-game interval. think them Paul we've seen what 19 points I actually am quite surprised they haven't been found wanting in terms in tactically so far really just the odd error that's crept in yeah they've been pretty solid haven't they from the offing it's been a, a reasonable start they've sort of playing catch up from from the start but uh, you know these two uh, combining just that little bit more efficiently with the three-point cushion to the turn Still very early doors, though. Great to see the youngsters here again today. Of course, scores out for summer. Chloe Birch there in the middle, watching on, hoping that she'll get on. She's in the last match to be scheduled, the women's doubles with Lauren Smith. But of course, it's first to three. 11, wins the bronze eight, medal here. And with the potential eight. power of their singles players, that's why it's such a must win here for the English team. You would think. That was 
great defence from Smith while it lasted, but in the end, the power of Hee just too much for it. Yeah, a furious, overwhelming barrage from Terry Hee, who was just going red line at the shuttle there. All the traffic directed towards Lauren. Four-point advantage and momentarily just uh, stepping off stage and look at the state of the court at the far end. It's just been... Uh, needs to be retaped down. These guys are expert at this. Getting the gaffer tape out again. Such a physically demanding sport. There's a lot of sweat and that makes the court damp and then the tape starts to come away. Yeah, they throw themselves around these guys as well, so they need a lot of traction when they hit the floor to push back into court hard. And, of course, that's why the tape gets ruffled from time to time. But you don't want any sort of, um, you know, sort of... Uh, Unevenness. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Thank you. Exactly. It's all got to be taped down very tight. Because you could roll an ankle should you s sort of buckle on the adhesive. You could see how it went there. That was the, the moment. Here he goes, look. Just retreating, push back hard, slips. He's not a big man, Terry. He's only five foot seven, but he's got great spring, great technique. Yeah, powerful in the legs and the core. Look at this professional job they're doing here. They are absolute artists at this, aren't they? They really are good. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't get that on your skater with a spirit level, could you? Back to business then. And Smith and Lane with a lot of work to do. 12-8 behind in this opening game. from Ben Lane, really good, backing himself, it wasn't far out, but these guys Nine, live on the 12. smallest of margins. Start. Oh, a very late decision. I thought that was going to go wide, and so did he initially. He's going to leave it. And then he decided, well, no, it's not. And of course, by that time, no chance. Yeah, Jessica Town there played an awesome point, didn't she? To get the momentum and then hesitancy at the back end from her husband. Three points in a row. So I can set us in the foreground enjoying it. And his partner on and off the court, usually. Right back in this with Ben Lane. Flicker was a good tactic, wasn't it? I don't think they were expecting that with Singaporean pair. No, they weren't. It was a good uh, return response as well. But Lauren here, doff your cap to her. She was so proactive, just hunting the shuttle, rack it up all the way. That was awesome. Uber aggressive. Terrific to see. And the self-belief right back. All for the flicker again. Nice idea, just a little bit wide, fractions so in this sport. It's a right shot, I think. Just too much angle. Yeah, just ran out of court, didn't he? Hit it a bit too hard. Oh, look at the frustration. Jumping up and down. 
such an important opening game this momentum in any tie is absolutely priority number one of course that's not what they're thinking about right now but if you know whoever wins this mix this is massive given the supremacy of the Singaporean singles as you so you know eloquently put it's just vital for England that they hold on here somehow find a way but the Singaporeans look extremely determined from the off well Lane and Smith are going to have to win this because they're not going to get Enough unforced errors, almost certainly, from their opponents. England challengers called in. Well, I think the umpire himself was actually obscured by Ben, who was bounding around, just trying to take evasive action, get out the way of this serve, who he instantly thought was out, so they challenged because it's been called good. Let's go upstairs to get it checked. Uh, first challenge of the match. Oh, it was welling. That's the sort of thing that uh, might strip a little bit of confidence Challenge from Ben. Unsuccessful. Let's see how he One responds to this error. Many. Actually, Lauren Smith was in a probably a better position to see that than Ben Lane was. Lane was 15, the one who challenged it. 12. Anyhow, it's 15-12. Right. That's an absolutely delightful shot from Ben Lane. You won't see a more deceptive shot than that 13, in these games. 15. That was fantastic because he wasn't that far back and he was nowhere near it. Yeah. Oh. Terry Heat, yep. Redeemed himself entirely, Ben Lane, there. Oh. oh, that was a chance. And Ben Lane knows it. From that range, you'd expect so him to make that. 16, 13. The difference it would have made 15, 14, as opposed to 16, 13. Yeah, that's huge for a scratch pairing, isn't it, psychologically, that difference on the scoreboard. Just as well because Ben String had gone there, so he didn't want the shovel coming back. You could hear it crack. A couple of points before the end of the rally. And, uh, well, Jess Tan, just a little greedy there, unable to make him pay. Just to give you an idea of how massive a match this is for Singapore, they've only won 10 medals in total at the Commonwealth Games in the history of badminton, compared to England's 109. With a little help, England managed to win the 15, point, and that's 17. brought the crowd to life. And Marcus Ellis as well, and the whole of the England team courtside.
did very well here because the Singaporeans were in an aggressive formation throughout and managing to to get their favoured positions with uh, Terry He at the back of the court, but these two stood firm, good character, great defence. Yeah, from Smith in particular, early on in that point. You can say it was a Singaporean error, but you make them play another shot and then another, obviously more chance of that happening. But the focus there from Smith. And that's on the line. And now there's only one point in it. Yeah, these have been sort of a couple of nerdy points, really, from the Singaporeans. That was a poor judgment, really, from Jess Tan here. Had plenty of time. Perhaps thought her husband was going to hit it. it. Wasn't even on the line, was it? It was inside uh. the line. Good, consistent, bold badminton, though, from Terry He, who kept the heat on the smashes throughout. Really gallant from him. Inflatable clappers going mad on the Singaporean bench. Whoever invented those has got a lot to answer for. Quite a few. <laughs> yes. You call me a killjoy if you like. Huge point coming up, especially for the English pair, if they go 19-16, you fear for them. Yeah. And that's the way of it. 19-16. For me, they've just been that little bit more proactive, as we thought, possibly coming in here subconsciously. You know, the English having not played together before. These are the sort of little subtle nuances that would give you that sort of slender lead, despite the quality and pedigree in uh, Lane and Smith. Once again, the power of Terry Hee proving too strong for Laura Smith. Game point, 16. So four game points for the Singaporeans. Well, oh, that was well steered into the open court. Read the serve, Earl Smith. 20. Fair jet in this opening game. Concern in the English camp. Edge of seats moment for them. And that'll do it. 21 17. Game. First game. One and when you think ball. that against Edison Smith, they won the first game 21 9. He and Tan. You could certainly say that Lane and Smith put up a pretty valiant effort there, and they did. But in the end, the experience of the Singaporean player won the day. But it's only the first game. Still a way back for Team England, but first blood here to Singapore. Yeah, he was uh, very powerful, wasn't he? A real force to be reckoned with, Terry He there. Just, uh, you know, really impactful every time he hit the shuttle. And Jessica Tan, just robust and solid, doing her role very, very well as well. But encouraging scoreline for the English, though he couldn't quite cross the line in that opener, but this next game, a must-winner for them. I just wonder what the message might be for, for the main Smith and the coaching staff now two minutes to, to try and instill self-belief. Because until the very end of that game, 
they were right in it. They really were. Something like that. Yeah, they should have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was it was a very close, well fought game, wasn't it? And uh, let's hope Julian Robertson here can impart some of his experience. He's uh, a man in the know. Marcus watching on. He must be thinking what might have been had he been on court. You know, Aguil, we're all there's a lot of head scratching from a fan's perspective about why Marcus isn't playing mixed. But uh, there we are. It is what it is, and we move forward with what we've got. Seconds. 20 seconds. Good communication between these two, that's always key. Talking well, trying to figure things out. They've got a lot of experience between them on the match court, Ben Lane and uh, Lauren Smith in their respective disciplines of mixed doubles and men's doubles. And if they do come through this, which is a tough ask right now, you know, it would offer a lot of flexibility to the uh, England team moving forwards well you have to think that this game is a must win Second obviously game. in this match but in the Lord. tie overall because the two singles matches look Play. possible but very very tough for England to win so they have to win this game in this opening match of the tie line That's encouraging, with Lauren at the back of the court and Ben at the front. It's a different kind of look, but uh, equally as effective. Fisheries of too many unforced errors in the opening game. Real mistake. Service over. One, two. Touch. Saw the both. Lane and Smith were kind of back on the heels a little bit there in the backcourt. By the time Lauren Smith realised where it was going, it was way too late. Thumbs up from the missus. Yeah, for me, he's been the sort of the, the crux of the Singaporean attack, hasn't he? He really does pack a punch, Three, and it's been two. sort of that 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 edge that he's brought that has been just the defining difference, the difference that makes the difference, frankly. Terry Heath has been very strong off the backhand wing. We spoke of that, but on his smashes, they've been that little bit more impactful. And you know, we've got to be fair to the scratch pairing of Lane and Smith. I mean, he and Taylor have won ten titles together. Yeah, they come in 12 and 8 this year, don't they? 12 wins, only 8 losses. So that's a pretty good record and ranked sort of top 40 in the world. Having been up at 15, I mean, that's quite a coup. And that India Open victory in January was, was huge for them. Biggest win of their career so far. I always think it must be a bit difficult when you're married to your playing card because I would never leave it alone, you never get a rest fight from it. Must have a, some kind of a pack, right? Today or this morning or tonight, we are not talking badminton. <laughs> yeah, you need to switch off. Easy leave. Starting to rise to the top in the second game. Well, they got England on the back foot four days ago, didn't they? These two Singaporeans, they're very dangerous and they look like they've uh, 
got the uh, reins of control right now. What can England do to throw a spanner in Singaporean works as Chloe and Callum look on nervously? Just missed it. Seven, so one, three, six. Well, they've won seven out of the last three. eight points, the Singaporeans. They really have generated a, a big bubble of momentum right here. Feeling good at this near end. And that last point is one of the few where you could kind of just see Lane and Smith not used to playing together. And it makes a huge difference with Lane being a left-hander. It was, as we said at the start, a bit of a gamble being this pair in, but I suppose they'd argue, well, look, you know, they beat our number so one mixed doubles pair very easily four, on seven. Saturday. So we had to try and be proactive and do something different. Didn't expect Tan to miss that. And the difficulty now on the English pair, of course, is, you know, the more Singaporean points that are scored, the harder the English try, and that can be sort of counterproductive, can't it, where you've got to stay relaxed and loose. That's good from Lauren. Is this the start of a mini comeback right here? So it's over. Five, eight. They've had some joy using that foot serve, you know, the English pair. It didn't surprise, didn't surprise me to see them keep doing it. Just a rare example, really, the point they dominated from start to finish there. Just Tan getting peppered with traffic there, keeping it away from Terry here as much as they can. And that's the reason why every time he gets racket on shuttle, he is the danger man. Nine, six. Seven, ten. Well, coaches like those uh, patterns ten. of play. Lots of acknowledgement from Julian and Nathan. So much well going from one side of the court Eight, to the other. Ten. In the end, I think it was fatigue as much as anything else that made him miss that. Frustrating, having worked so hard with the previous point, and uh, because of the service error, they know 11 8 down at the interval.
Or is this the do not for the scratch pairing of Ben Lang and Lowell Smith thrown together surprisingly? Smith, your normally partners, Marcus Ellis, they're 10 in the world. They had lost heavily to he and 10 just four days ago. Team England decided to shake it up. And Smith in with Ben Lane. 11, 8. But it's now or never Play. for the English pair. Singaporeans a game up and poised here. They can keep their calm. And that's not the best start. Seven, so one. Nine, 11. No, they're an excellent pairing here in town. They're certainly not immune to getting a little nervy if this gets close, the business end. Super penultimate shot there from Terry He just setting up the kill from no, Jess Tan. Look at this. This one here was a short lift away, and he got the treatment. He's been, for me, the most dynamic player on the court so far. Just that little bit more sting in the Singaporean attack. from Rain. Yeah, cleverly engineered from Ben, wasn't it? Really well put together. Just trying to stay in touch here. applause from teammates as well arrow like in its flight path this was not as a 10 out of 10 strike from ben lane doesn't get much better lasering it to the inside of the doubles tram line so just pointed it now. certainly trying to feed off the energy that the home crowd are providing right in this match but again that is just incredibly frustrating. 13, 11. Sometimes after the high of the winning point, you can't just lose your focus, your concentration. That's all that was. Now there's the fact that they're a scratch pairing right there. We haven't seen it too often, 14, to be fair, because 11. they've been brilliant. But that was a gaping hole on the court. A yours kind of moment. Just that moment's hesitancy. Excellent from the Singaporeans. Good anticipation from Lane. Yeah, that was super brave on the return from Ben. Good lead. Every time. Wayne and Smith come back at the Singaporeans, they just reassert, don't they? Just get the impression they've got that little bit more.
Stay on time. Well, it's minutia that separate these kind of pairs. And at the moment, Singapore with that four-point cushion. Will it be enough to cross the line in this massively important match? So well, I think that's one. because Ben jumped down her throat on her last serve to him. He was so keen to pounce that she felt that serve had to be... Uh, extra good hence the error from Jess Tan yeah, now right, what can so Lauren deliver it's a bonus point back as far as English pair are concerned <laughs> they still believe 14, 16. so do they first run of two points then Lauren and Ben, and really key moment for them. Can they get a trio of points consecutively here? This would be massive. Very late decision that. And he's got it on the low, it's wide, but he's going to challenge it. He thought he'd made it. England challenges. Line Josh thought about it. Yeah, he hesitated, didn't he? And then threw his arms apart very late. And then the uh, English were hands in the air instantly. And this, you know, stage of the match is a must challenge. This is colossal. Did it clip the line? Did it? Oh, and on the line. Didn't even just clip it. And then within one. Well, listen to the crowd here. Yeah, it's great athleticism and great end range control from Ben, really backing himself there. Got it down right onto the line. 15, 16. You never know, it Play. might have been the fist pumping from Terry He that made the lines judge call it out. That was almost synchronized, yeah. that appeal, wasn't yeah. it? Independently. It's a great shot. Terrific play from Jessica Tan there. She remained resolute in her attack, watching the shuttle so close. Look how poised she is here. Lauren giving her all to scrap that out and shovel it back, but to no avail in the end. Tan, terrific. four-point cushion the Singaporeans then with just a, a couple of points ahead now just one again terrific brave return of serve from Lauren Smith 16, 17. Again, peppering Tan again. 17 all. It's great work back to parity, isn't it? All out attack from the English. That's more like it. Super serve from Ben Lane there, so tight to the net. Got it to dip 18, down below the tape 17. and then the follow-up, excellent. Look how eagle-eyed she is here. And with their noses in front now. And they hold their nerve and take us to a deciding game. Well played, Lauren Smith. 
stunning response from the English. They were all over that. What a point from both pairs that was. You have to compliment their courage here. Look at this from Lauren, excellent, and what a follow-up. It's almost if at times they're just playing on sheer instinct. But it's a measure of their character that they're two points away from levelling this match. Starting to really enjoy this now. The adrenaline is pulsing through their veins. Well, you've got to relish these moments and be challenged, not threatened, and they certainly look like they've got the internal climate just right right now. And they're hoping long may it continue. They were 12-16 down in this second game, the English. So they've won eight of the last nine points. At least uh, from their point of view, the Singaporeans have stopped the rot. Yeah, it's a high-risk flick serve to Terry He. He's shown us just how adept he is at climbing back and clobbering the response. Yeah, the flick serve to Town has worked well, hasn't it? But the flick serve to He, a different proposition. What a moment to do that. And two game points now for Lane and Smith to level the match. You can't see the coaches on the bench from England just trying to orchestrate the crowd, waving arms vigorously to get them to engage and help them across the line here. Flicker again to turn. Hesitancy from Lauren there. She thought it was going wide and sort of only sort of semi-committed to her shot. 20. Still just a point away from taking this to a decider, or look at it pessimistically, three points away from defeat. That's how tight and tense it is in this bronze medal match. Well, they get a challenge, of course they are. Challenges. Look, don't Ball. think they're challenging oh. with genuine expectation. Though. Well, the Singapore sort of camp were the nearest to it, and they jumped instantly onto their feet, seemingly knowing that the shuttle was long from Ben Lane, spilling over the back line. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, well out both sides. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Well, it got them a breather. Just a chance to regroup, rethink. 20 all. Crowd on edge. So obviously, you need to win by two clear points. Another opportunity. Jessica Tan is uh, rather tense right now, given the service error she hit a couple of points ago, and then that. I think a lot of uh, English traffic has to go towards her. Is it going to be third time lucky here? to win, wouldn't it, with uh, Lane having been down on the deck. But you've got to credit the resilience Stop of he and Tan. 21 all. Yeah, Terry, he really brought it there, didn't he? That was just so courageous. He was like a raging bull, snorting and snarling towards that shuttle. He was going lights out, Looking really clear. taking control here. Highly appropriate, highly appropriate with the uh, game's mascot being Terry the ball. Yeah, absolutely. The way these kind of things go, with the English player having had three game points, not take any of them, if okay. the Singaporeans were to get a match point, you just 
the way these things happen, you can see them taking it. Efficiently right now. <laughs> he's played that once, he's played it seven or eight times today. Has so he's he? Cool as a Dukembo, wasn't he? Oh. Terry He there, that was fabulous. So four game points saved now. So you have to win by two clear points. If we get to 29 all, it's going to be a golden point. That'll be drama. And here is the first match point for he and Tan. Just Tan there, just right into the right armpit of Lauren Smith. That was brilliant accuracy from her. Just tangling Lauren, unable to release the tip of the racket. Not just a match point, but probably with the singles matches to come, a point for the bronze medal, maybe. <laughs> oh, that's very good from Lane. <laughs> well, Ben Sorry, should take on. a bow because he's got so much Can more sting on his oh. last two smashes that he's played over the last two, two or three points. Really well done. Terrific. Yeah, to go full out at match point down. Courage as well as technique required. Well, he threw himself forward, Ben Lane, and that didn't so try to intervene positively. 24. But... 23. The shot on coming was just a little too fast. Play. himself at it Game. but it's long and that is the victory for the Singaporean pair 25 23 I've got to say it was a hugely valiant effort from the scratch pairing of Ben Lane and Lauren Smith but in the end the class and the experience of he and Tan won the day albeit after a real sweat in that second game Terrific effort, wasn't it? They really kept their nerve in the end, and that was a great dive by Terry Yee and a good leave in the end, coming through. A really brave effort. There was a lot of pressure out there. It was a bit of a cauldron with all the fan base against them. They've shown a lot of character. Confirmation then that he and Tan win 21 17, 25 23 just under an hour on court. Hugely entertaining hour it was too.